Hello, this is Victor at HistoryMercedes.com. This video is for Mike in New York. Okay, Mike, so I would like to make a video here on the progress and uh, what I find, you know, the issues I found with the vehicle at the moment. Before I go for a long weekend, I'll just send you a video and then I'll call you later. We'll discuss details. First thing is with the engine. We know the issues with mass airflow sensor-wise. I'm going to repair them, of course. Uh, second issue I had was a misfire. Uh, this because of two issues. Now the first issue obviously is the coil. Let me just zoom on to the coil. This is basically your coil on one side, as you can see, burnt and obviously not good. The problem is they did not put the right coil to this car because there is left and right coil and um, the further away one is under the, you know toward the fender that's original that seemed to work okay now this coil right here this is another one as you can see the wiring orientation is different from the one that you had um, that is my coil I put it in that's a correct one because you have to bolt the coil to the to something to the metal something to dissipate heat and this coil was just loose in there on zip ties and obviously it overheated and failed now the second problem is the caps and rotors I mean they're in terrible shape this one is yeah she's just you know whatever it is. <laughs> this one right here is completely messed up I mean it's burned uh, on the central electrode there center lead and uh, this wire that runs under over there like it's just snaked through as you can see this is another end of it okay so this one snakes under caps and goes in, in under the water pump and runs along and comes out over there and runs to the coil again this is a lead of the original cable now it was completely messed up over here and this this cap is still messed up it's so loose so it's not really a good cap at all I mean it's burnt inside it has to be done so that is in terms of caps and rotors they both need to need to go ignition cables it's kind of a job and they have to do so we can leave ignition wires because I did remove all of the all of the plugs the wires off the cap so they come off except for the center one which is which is broken it just broke right off so um, we can leave that but caps and rows have to be definitely be replaced and then I'll go over mass airflow sensor wires now <clears throat> the throttle bodies I don't like about the throttle body this one is switching it just jumps okay so I'm not going to go there yet because I just you know I don't have uh, check engine I mean not check engine is our light yet but it is jumping so I haven't looked into that yet either it's the wires inside throttle body the motor internals or the actual computer so that I cannot tell yet but I'll figure that out later first thing is to get this thing to run uh, normally right now it does run on 12 I got it to run on 12 so I'll start it in a minute the <coughs> next thing the radio situation I mean the amp and everything radio does work there is a mechanical issue with the CD changer and it's not changing CDs but the radio itself AM FM works so it's up to you if you want to fix it then you have to replace the radio altogether this speaker seemed to be blown as well the bottom speaker all the other speakers play the roof situation the roof was an epic repair but I did it there's many issues with the roof the first is the main pump the return valve was blown so I had to open it all up get the return valve repaired put it all back together get the pressure up roll bar started to work but the roof still hasn't worked I had to go and open up the whole paneling over here double check all the solenoids and everything some connectors were a little rotted so I just cleaned all those up um, the codes you, you, know, you cannot read the codes with the computer you have to do with the blink tool so I found all the codes and did you know just uh, clear them all and then it would not see speedometer signal so if it doesn't see speedometer signal then the car the roof is not going to activate 
So I had to pull the cluster out and while I was at it, I fixed uh, the, all the lights, all the um, you know blinkers I did and the wiper because wiper didn't work. So all of that works now and once the roof, roof controller seeing the speedometer signal, the actual speed of the vehicle that is stationary, then the roof started to work. In terms of leaks, I don't see any leaks from cylinders. Um, to me, it seems like they're they're okay, except for this one right here. Maybe there was a little dampness here, but again, that could be just because they glued it like this. And, you know, it might not be just dampness from the oil, hydraulic oil, fluid rather, because it's kind of like spongy. When it says spongy, then fluid basically it's plastic, and then becomes spongy. So, but anyway, I mean. At least it's not gushing out. I don't see it gushing out under pressure, so we should be okay. Now, <clears throat> let's go and do some operational demonstration. Okay, so first things first, ignition is on. You got all your lights come on. And See, we're gonna do blinkers. As you can see, blinkers work now. You got your wiper working. Okay. Well, that is the wiper gets stuck a little bit because of the mechanism. It is what it is. Now we can start the vehicle. That is an exhaust blow by. Exhaust is bad. I mean, it just blows really blows by real hard I haven't looked into it but I haven't risen the car on the lift yet but as you can see it runs pretty good I'll give it some gas again it's been sitting for quite a bit and also that caps and rotors are bad we don't have really good spark at this moment but as you can see it accelerates much much better Master airflows, caps and rotors, all of those play a big role in how it accelerates. So, and you can hear the exhaust blowing by. <clears throat> okay, the water temperature. I mean, this is the the um, windshield washer fluid level sensor, so it's a little messed up, but it don't matter. Uh, gauges all work, speedo works, and. I changed all, you know, I checked all the bulbs, all of them work, cluster is good. Now the radio, <clears throat> put on the radio, if we're gonna go AM FM. Savings with Ace Rewards card. So drop by your neighborhood Ace this weekend for Craftsman products and other great savings, because yeah. getting help at Ace is like going to your neighbor. It does July play. Through six that participate <clears throat> in stores. <clears throat> store stock only, see store for details. Ace is the place with the helpful hardware, folks. Energy bills are heading through the roof. Cut them off okay. the ceiling. With a so, radio does work, except that the change in mechanical error comes on. Okay, next, roll bar operation. This is your roll bar button. I'm gonna press it. As you can see, roll bar goes up. You know, when I press it down, it obviously goes down. No error code of the roll bar no more. I cleared that too because it was blinking the light. So I found the problem there. And of course the roof operation. I mean, I'll be inside the car, I guess. I can't really. Okay, I'm just closing the roof down. I mean, sorry about this kind of poor video quality. Latch is up front nice. Windows. I let go of the button. No more error codes from the roof. It's not blinking. So obviously you press and hold it. It's going to open up. Everything is working good. And again. No blinking lights to indicate a problem with the roof anymore. So this is great. 
windows work they used to work anyway so right now as you can see the car runs quite well acceleration is quite nice but you know we still have issues with all those wires so I'm not gonna run it for too long it starts shaking you know it starts to misfire and now I'll show you a noise from the throttle actuator if I may it's gonna make that noise Here's our throttle. You hear that yeah, there was a little bit of a noise, but it does make a lot of more noise. It's like uh, marble cans, marble, marble. Uh, Marble in the can type of deal. More of a rattle kind of. Well, maybe I'll make another video when it actually doing it very pronounced. So this is basically all for now. It's been uh, lots of things done anyway. And so far it is coming along. To shut it down because again, I don't have good readings from mass airflows. I don't want to damage the engine but this is basically it i mean this is um for now i assembled everything in the back here the trunk is assembled all the panels everything's in and um basically i will start on the engine and suspension pretty much next because cosmetics are pretty much done i just never had time to really go deep into the engine i had to have this car move around a lot so therefore I didn't disassemble it completely. I just have another car that I have to really finish over there So I have to pull this one out and put that one in so That's why I haven't started on the engine yet, but I kind of you know, I know what's going on I mean, I know what needs to be done. We discussed that All right, so I'll go I'll give you a call when uh, um, You know when I send you this video so you watch it and then we'll discuss everything in details all right, well, this was Victor at RestoreMercedes.com. This video is for Mike in New York with the update on the progress on this vehicle repair. Thanks for watching.